Hey everybody, how you doing? Listen, we got some action going on with our son and want to let you know uh, that, give me one second here, let me pull this up for us. So what we have here folks is we now have a very active son and I do mean a very active son. Let me pull up this, I hope it's refreshed some. Um, this is the last 48 hours that our star has been doing. I want you to pay particular attention to this area right here. This is the active area that uh, approximately about 15 hours ago released. Uh, the first time we've seen a um, C-class flare heading up into the X-ray. And watch this, watch the development right here. Now we haven't seen this kind of activity in quite some time, quite the opposite. We see most often um, a degrading effect, but not with this sunset uh, sunspot group. Um, I had a video ready to rack up, but there was an audio problem. And in that video, I said, this is going to, give me one second here. My apologies on that. Um, this is, as you can see right there. Boom. You see this red area that's getting darker there? That, folks, is what is now going off. So let's get one other good perspective of this. This is where we can actually see the mixing. I'll get this blown up. So this is the top group that you saw. This is a spread out um, polarity. You're not going to get any flares typically from this type of configuration. However, what you will get and what we are experiencing right now are these, this group right here. This is what you look for. This is delta, gamma, uh, beta mixing. Um, this is interacting of both positive and negative umbras. You can see clearly defined where the negative and the positives are at. This is what's causing it right here. When you get this type of intensity of the polarities literally up, up, up next to one another, that's where you're going to get that particular effect. Um, one other quick picture for you, just so you can see. Let's see what we can actually pull up on this one. This is, I don't know if this will actually give us the 24, the 48 hour view. I'll leave this link for you, by the way. Okay, here we go. Let's see if they've updated this one. This is. Look at this, folks. Look at it. You can just see it's like it's just sizzling there. I'll try to stop it. Right there. You can actually see the flaring take place. So we just need to be aware. Now, what does this mean for you um, health-wise? If you're susceptible to migraines, if you are susceptible to cardiac rhythm issues, um, if you are susceptible to bouts of depression, these are all going to impact the body in this matter. So let me get back here to full screen. All right, there I am. So just be prepared. Now, I don't know what the level of this, listen, Ben Davidson over at Suspicious Observers has a great app. It's one that I use. Uh, when we saw this this morning at five o'clock, it was pretty well certain that we knew that we were going to see activity. The only question was, was the earth facing quiet effect that has been there, been there for well over a year and a half now. Was it going to actually hold up? Well. It looked like this time the sun won. And I did a video just two weeks ago where I told you that eventually 
we were going to be on the direct path, and it looks like this is going to be the case. We can expect potentially radio um, outbreaks. We can uh, interruptions. I wouldn't be flying personally myself. Not that there's any issue with the plane. That's not the issue at all. I just don't like exposing myself to increased bouts of cosmic radiation. And there's no more better source of that than our star. And when it sends a flare our way, our way it typically also has ejecta with it. So these are some of the things we're going to have to look at. And all of this has an effect. So what I'm saying is that when I learned, because I used to be, uh, I'm talking up there, um, million miles kind of thing, is that you're exposing yourself to huge amounts of radiation, more so today than ever before. So anyway, be aware of this, be mindful of it. I'll leave the link, monitor it for yourself and uh, get over there to suspicious observers. See, listen, Ben does a great job each morning giving you uh, the space weather, and it affects and impacts our weather and impacts you and I. All right, be kind to one another. We'll talk soon.